and hello YouTube, this is GS Mouse. My name is here in a brand new video for tutorials with GS. In today's tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at Adobe After Effects and how to create raindrops on top of the camera lens. It's very easy and it should be a fairly quick tutorial. So if you're new to After Effects, this is probably a good tutorial to practice some things on because it's pretty simple. Let's go ahead and create a new composition. Go up to composition here and create a new composition. It's going to be a relatively short video. A duration of 30 seconds is fine. Let's get ourselves a 1920 by 1080 resolution over here with a frame rate of 30. And that should be okay. Now I have some stock footage here of a city, city street stock footage that we're going to be using to add some raindrops on top of. So here it is, we're just going to drag it on top of the composition. And we're just going to go ahead and make it a bit bigger like so. Now we do have this set to a quarter quality to improve render time. Uh, you can obviously change it to high quality if you'd like to do so. I think we're going to bump it up to about half here. So just so we have a better idea of what we're working with here. Now if we head over to our effects panel right here. We can go ahead and search for an effect. But before we look for an effect, go ahead and duplicate this layer here. So control D to duplicate. And in the search bar here for your effects, we're going to type in Mercury. You should have an effect called CC Mr. Mercury. Go ahead and drag it over your uh, layer here. And if we hide the bottom layer here that we made the duplicate and we scrub a little forward, you can see we have this nice little emitter here that's emitting lots of little particles here. It looks like raindrops. Pretty cool. Now we have this second layer here at the bottom here because this is going to be our background layer while the uh, effect layer is going to be this one on top here. But in order for us to actually see the difference, we're going to go ahead and uh, give the uh, bottom layer here a blur. So we're going to head to effects, look for uh, blur, blur and sharpen here, and look for fast blur down here. And we're going to give this a uh, blur of 15. That should be good. And as you can see, now we can sort of tell the difference between what's being blurred and what our effect is actually. Now if we head back to our layer with the effect, which is this one right here, we have lots of options here. We have the X and the Y, and this essentially, if you bump this up, we get uh, the the drops here. They disperse a little more across the, across the screen. You can play around. You can bump this up as much as you want. We're going to bump it up relatively a relatively large amount, maybe something like that. Now as we scrub through this, you can see that the particles are actually falling down the uh, camera here or down the... Uh, the, the image here, the video file here. What we want to do is change our animation here to direction, which is right here. And our velocity and gravity, we want to go ahead and bring that to zero. And once we have that, you'll see that instead of these raindrops falling down, they're sort of just uh, staying where they are and appearing, basically. And that's kind of the effect that we want, because we want the water drops to uh, stay on the screen and fall down on the screen. And that's the effect that we're looking for. Now, the other option that you can also change is the longevity. And bumping this up to around four, five, or six is good. That basically allows the drops to stay on the screen for a longer time. We can also bring the birth rate down a bit, which will basically determine how many drops are visible. So perhaps something like that is just fine. Uh, the more drops you want, the higher you want this, obviously. The less drops you want, the lower you want this. Maybe bump it up a little more like that. And you can also change the birth and death size as well. So maybe we'll bump this up a bit. As you see, the more we bump this up, the bigger the blobs get, uh, the lower, the smaller the drops get. For our birth, I think we're going to go ahead and stick with 0.2. And for the death, uh, we might want to use 0.7 perhaps. Now the other thing you want to change is the influence map here. You want to change this to constant blobs. And as we scrub through this now, you can see that it's a bit more of the effect that we're looking for where the blobs are appearing on the screen and staying there. Now we want the raindrops to fall on the screen uh, just slightly. So perhaps changing the gravity from 0 to uh, 0.1 or 0.2 would be a good idea. Now the key to this effect is just to uh, render preview, RAM preview, a small portion of this and uh, just sort of figure out what type of effect you're looking for. If you want more of these uh, raindrops, obviously increase the birth size and you'll get more of them. 
Uh, if you want the raindrops to fall faster, you can increase the gravity and they'll fall faster. If you don't want them to move at all, you can keep it at zero. You can increase the birth and death size as well. And that's sort of the key to this is just figuring out what type of raindrops you want on your camera. Uh, this is sort of the effect that I'm looking for, as you can see. Looks pretty cool. But now what we also want to do is we want to do some keyframing to make this look a bit more realistic and to give it a depth of field a bit more. So what we're going to do is for the top layer here, which is the raindrop footage, we're going to go up to effect again and we're going to give it a fast blur just like we did with the uh, bottom uh, layer. So effects, blur and sharpen, fast blur. And this time we have it set to zero. We have the other layer at the bottom set to 15 for a blur. I'm going to go ahead and close the effect options for the Mercury. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in to this portion of our comp. And what we're going to end up doing is toggling these down so we can actually see the effects. And we're going to head to our effects and our uh, fast blur here. And the same with the bottom layer here, effects and the fast blur here. And we're going to keyframe this fast blur. So what we're going to do is we're going to start keyframing uh, the raindrops from 15 blurriness all the way down to zero blurriness. So as the raindrops are falling on the camera lens here, they start off blurry. And after a while, they'll get more clear. So I think right around when the raindrops actually start coming onto the screen, right around here. So that's around one second. Perhaps let's start the transformation process around... Uh, say around here we'll bump this up to 15 make sure we keyframe that and we'll give this a blurriness of 15 like so and then as time passes and as more raindrops start falling on the screen actually perhaps right around three seconds here we'll bring this down to zero and that'll start making the raindrops a bit more clear now at the same time what we want to do is do the same thing with the actual footage so I'm just going to go ahead and copy these keyframes here and we're going to go ahead and go down to our background footage here and you can see that our blurriness here is at 15 but what we want to do with our footage here is start it at clear and then bring it down to 15 just like with the raindrops so what I'm going to do is go to the uh, first layer actually still find where this keyframe actually starts which is right here we're going to zoom out. You can zoom out and zoom in fast with a uh, alt and your mouse wheel. That's really fast way to zoom in and zoom out. Then we're going to head down to the bottom layer with our background. And right here, we're going to paste our keyframes just like so. So that they're at the exact same spot. But instead of going from 15 to zero, we want this to start at zero and go to 15. So you can double click a keyframe to change the value. It's going to bring us down all the way to zero. And then this one is going to be at 15, like so. And what you'll see is that as the raindrops fall, this becomes more blurry. But at the same time, the raindrops become uh, more visible, which gives it a nice effect. So if we ram preview this small portion right now, you'll see how the effect looks uh, completed. So there we go. We're going to go and press play right here to finish ram previewing. And as you can see, as raindrops fall, they start blurry. They, can, they become more clear as time passes, just like with the footage, as raindrops start falling onto the camera lens, it becomes blurry, and the raindrops start becoming more clear, which is exactly how it actually happens in real life as well. So pretty neat little thing you can do on After Effects here. It's very simple to do as well. Obviously, the more time you spend on this, the better it can look. You can play around with a lot of the settings in the Mercury plugin here. There's also some... Uh, lighting options you can play with and shading options as well. So for, we have a light here. This is where you can decide where you want the light to come from, which can be very helpful as well. Some shading options as well for your raindrops. So you play around these settings, you can actually make it look very realistic. But hopefully uh, this gets you started on how to make some pretty neat raindrops on top of your footage. Hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial and you found it helpful. If you have any questions or comments, leave it in the comment box down below. I'll definitely be down there answering any questions you have. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Lots of other software tutorials on our channel. Lots of other Adobe Premiere Pro tutorials, After Effects tutorials, video editing, image editing, sound editing. 
all kinds of stuff. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to donate a dollar to my Patreon page, anything as low as that is very helpful, very much appreciate it. Click the card in the top right hand corner of the screen, it'll bring it to the page. And if you're interested in my advice channel, my vlogging channel, gaming channel, music channel, links in the description as well as on the end card. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching as always. And this is GS Man with Smart. I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>